In 1962, Father Greg Schaefer, a priest from the diocese in Minnesota, began serving as pastor in the small community of San Lucas Tolimán, Guatemala. By listening to the people of San Lucas, the philosophy of the San Lucas Parish attempts to respond, as Jesus did, to the needs of the people. In a partnership of the people and Father Greg, parish programs began addressing the needs of housing, healthcare and nutrition, education, and land, all needed to create a sustainable life for the Guatemalan people. Because of the climate and land, coffee has become the principal economic force in the region. For most in the developed world, coffee is a drink needed in order to function during the day. However, coffee puts food on the table and provides a life for these people. Growing coffee is their way of life. In the past in San Lucas and at present in surrounding communities, farmers were not being paid a fair wage for their work. Farmers would spend all day in their fields picking coffee fruit to fill a 100 pound bag but would only receive 30 quetzals for their labor, a wage that was not enough to support themselves and their family on. In response to this unjustness, Father Greg and the parish started the Juan Ana Coffee Project. The project provides adequate, sustainable living for coffee farmers by negotiating with coffee companies for fair, consistent wages for their coffee, regardless of the market value. Knowing that 30 quetzals was not a fair price, Father Greg determined that 200 quetzals was a fair price for every 100-pound bag of raw coffee farmers picked. With this income, a family could function better. Their money stretched further and they were able to afford medicines, education, and food. Today, the Juan Ana Coffee Project provides a sustainable income for over 650 families in and around San Lucas Toliman. The coffee harvest season runs from November until March. During the season, families pick an average of 150 to 200 pounds of coffee a day. By the end of the harvest, the Juan Anna Coffee Project typically purchases 750,000 pounds of coffee. Also instituted by the community, the Juan Anna Coffee Project produces jobs all year round for coffee farmers, not just during the harvest season. The coffee is able to be roasted and ground on the parish's property, so jobs are provided all year round for coffee project workers. After farmers have picked the coffee fruit, the coffee must be treated and washed in a matter of hours. The fruit must be depulped by removing the red shell from the bean by machine. The coffee bean is then left to soak and is washed constantly over two to three days to remove the sweet honey substance that coat the fresh coffee beans. Then the beans are put into the sun to dry. The beans are left to dry in the sun for eight to ten days. The beans are then passed through a machine that will remove the shell. The bean is then roasted over an open fire. The coffee is then ground and is shipped all over the world, including the United States, to be enjoyed every morning.